What is going on guys, it's your boy Jacob here, or Phase 2, and before I get into this video, I just want to say I was actually meant to make this video on Call of Duty, I thought I'd just hop on some Call of Duty Black Ops 3, make the cut come, make a little story cut come, or just talk a little bit, because I haven't done it in a while, and I didn't really feel like doing it on CSGO today, but unfortunately I ran out of PlayStation Plus, which means I could not go online, I could not play, and it would not let me add a payment option, I couldn't buy it, and last time when I bought it, I was like an online store or whatever, it took me like a couple of hours to get the actual code in my email, which means... I don't have time for that right now. It's getting pretty late and I need to get started with this video. So I'm basically just going to join whatever servers, maybe surf a little bit. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing and just talk to you guys over some Counter-Strike gameplay. So today's topic, as you probably can tell from the title of this video, who is most likely to get pranked in the face? I was getting a lot of questions now. Tika, when are you making your new prank? Who is it going to be on? What is it going to be? Tico, we want more pranks. Where them pranks at though? Basically, people really want to see pranks and I want to make them for you guys. Do not think I don't want to make them. They're probably my funniest videos. They're definitely the videos that do the best on my channel. Uh, just in general, really, really good videos for me. A lot of fun to make, record, edit, plan, prepare, etc. But I have been a little bit out of ideas just in general with YouTube, like ideas in general. And I haven't really had ideas for pranks either. I'm going to try and come up with like a prank really soon. I really want to pull a big one off. I'm not going to talk about specifically what prank I'm doing. I'm going to talk about who is most likely to get pranked in the face house. And that's like, depends on what prank I'm doing. And depends on what mood I'm in, it depends on if someone else pranked me or did something to me that I want to like revenge. Why do I suck? Why am I so bad at surfing still? Basically, who I feel like pranking. That day, that moment, with that prank. It can be anyone really. I don't, don't really have anyone specifically that I would like choose over someone else just randomly. It could be actually... That's a lie. One I think we all can agree on, especially with me and Rain, is uh, we find, I mean, Blazekin as well. We all find it hilarious to fuck with Apex. Because I don't know why, but going into his room and just messing with him when he's like editing videos, streaming, doing something. It's the funniest thing ever. He doesn't get mad. There's just something with fucking with Apex. It's actually how my Trap roommate prank came along. The first segment of the video, the tape is already on the door because I was just going to mess with him because he's like so funny to mess with. Then he was streaming and I was like, this is going to be hilarious. He's streaming. I can get that point of view as well in the actual video. This is going to be great, like absolutely golden. And it turned out so funny. It's funny to prank someone like Rain who pulls a lot of pranks on other people. I, I mean, he's not really pulling a lot of pranks right now, but he used to a lot. So that's like one of the guys that is nice to prank as well because you get like the revenge and he deserves it if that makes any sense and then blaziken is fun as well blaziken is the kind of guy to prank to he's like always clueless which is funny he's always super clueless like the prank i did on him with the water filled cups pranks basically that morning he woke me up delivered me the package and was like yo you got a fat package so i basically told him what i was gonna do with the red cups i'm gonna pull it as a prank or whatever and he's like dude that's so sick let me know if you need help and i was like yeah yeah sure he went to the gym and i was like I should just do it to fucking blaze again. <laughs> so as he left, I rushed up, took my clothes on. And it was like, all right, I have like an hour, hour and a half. And then I knew he was going to the gym with Doug, a face sensor. So I messaged face sensor. And I was like, yo, can you take him out for like dinner or like food after? Like she pulled to just get some kind of food after the gym. So I get a little bit more time so I can pull out this prank on Blaziken. And Blaziken comes home. I'm just behind the stairs laughing my fucking ass off. And he has no clue because he thought he caught me mid prank. Then he walks into his room and he was like, there's no way you pulled this prank on me. Like, he was so clueless because he was the one giving me the freaking cups. Wanted to be a part of the prank, help me out with it. Because I told him I was going to do it on Adapt. And he was like stoked to help me out and like be a part of it and like not get pranked himself. And he comes home and sorry, Blaze, but I like sometimes shit like that just happens as well. Because I actually plan on doing it to Adapt. But since Blaze left... I got the perfect opportunity. I just got him. I didn't really have a video for that day anyway. So I was like, why not just go up, do it right now. I'll text Dougie, delay the gym, workout, food-ish a little bit. I have way more time. Don't really have to stress it. And I should be good. And it turned out great. I'm so happy I did it that day. And it was so funny because he was actually clueless. He didn't have a clue. Apex is probably the most fun to like fuck with. Like that's why it's so funny. Like with the Swedish awkward vlogs. Like when I'm trolling him in Swedish, zooming in on him. Like just small shit. It's just so funny with Apex. I don't know what it is. It's something with his reaction that's just absolutely hilarious. We're doing good here, boys. We're doing good. We are doing good. Why am I talking? Why am I talking about how I'm doing? Every time I do, I jinx myself. Every single time I'm making a surfing video, I get longer than I've been before. And I'm like, yo, I'm doing good. Yo, man, I'm killing this shit. Yo, man, I'm the surf god. And I just 
fucking jinx myself and I end up falling like a few seconds later. Like, look at this. I'm gonna do so good now because I'm gonna be quiet. I know I kind of just jinx myself again ish, but not really because I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it, whether I'm doing good or not. I'm just gonna be quiet from now on. This is gonna be a good run. This is gonna be a good run. I'm not gonna say shit about it, okay? I said too much, all right? From now on, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Sorry, sorry. But this is it, boys. This is it. How? How am I this bad at surfing? I don't fucking get it. All right, this is it. It's 6, 25, 24, 23. We got this shit easy in the mother effing bag. Let's go. Woo. I thought I was going out. I'll be back, as I said, with maybe a Q&A tomorrow or with something else interesting. Maybe another common call that I'm going to try and solve my PlayStation Plus problem. Thank you guys so much. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you're subscribed if you're new. And I am out. Peace.